Westminster Abbey is the grave of the unknown warrior. But for many, the story of the unknown warrior is itself unknown. How did this one person come to represent all those who died? To find out the answer, we have to go back to the First World War and meet a curate from Folkestone. The year war began, the Reverend David Railton was living in the Kent town. He saw young men destined for the battlefields flooding into the area. By January 1916, David was himself on the Western Front, witnessing death and injuries on a scale never seen before. One night after he had uh, been conducting uh, a burial service, there was a, um, a simple grave in which there was a white wooden cross which someone had written on in black penciled um, letters, an unknown British soldier. My grandfather said that just started him thinking as to who that person was. Well, of course, he'd served on the Western Front. He'd seen the, the makeshift graveyards for soldiers. They didn't look like this. They would have been uh, rows of wooden crosses, often small groups, many of them, of course, unidentified. Now the war was over, his idea was to choose one fallen soldier whose identity could never be traced and bring him back to be buried with full honours in Westminster Abbey. He would represent the fallen, but the heart of the idea was that for anyone grieving, it could be their loved one buried among kings. A chaplain was given the task of taking the teams out, bringing bodies from all across the battlefields that the British Army had fought in. Uh, and then they were draped in, in flags for Brigadier General Wyatt to, to come and to, to choose one of the bodies by laying his hand on it. Uh, and that was the body that then made that famous journey back to Westminster. On the morning of the 10th of November, the body was taken from the castle in Boulogne to HMS Verdun. The coffin was piped aboard and laid on the quarterdeck, guards posted with heads bowed. In Dover, crowds were waiting as the unknown warrior came home. Hundreds of thousands crowded into the streets to catch a glimpse of the coffin. And just as David Railton had hoped, many were comforted. This could be their loved one. The Reverend David Railton was an inspirational clergyman from Kent who could not and would not forget the men he left behind on the Western Front. And so he found a way to bring them all home. That was Natalie Graham reporting. You can see the full story on tomorrow's edition of Inside Out, 7.30 